Okay, hey guys, welcome back. Hey, I see we got one person in here already. Um, just going to give some people a few minutes to get in here. Um, sorry for those long intros. I'll try to edit those later for people watching after the live stream. Um, I thought I'd cover this uh, topic. I had an, I got a message from uh, one of the viewers here that uh, had a problem with their neck transition that they were working on. And they were following my advice, but they had some uh, interesting... Uh, complications. I came up with a couple of interesting ways to solve this problem and I think it looks pretty good. This is not the way that I would do this. Um, so if you look at these profiles here, um, essentially what he's doing is he's uh, using the loft to move through these two profiles. Now what I would do is I would make the loft through these two profiles but I would keep the headstock thick and then I would draw a profile on the side of the headlock headstock and and cut through that whole thing um, you, you probably don't have as much control over the shape of that volute uh, I guess that's what you'd call it I, I, I never never I'm never sure how to pronounce that anyways but um, that's the way I generally approach this but um, he sent me this file and he said it would be okay if I showed it to you guys and used it as an example so I thought I'd do that um, so anyways let's hop over here in a fusion and start working on it and show you what i did so this is it um and you can see that he's drawn in he's he's done everything that you know that i the way that i would have done it um, um so i'm just messing around on my timeline down here so if you can't see that i cut this off because i'm trying to avoid showing this activate windows um uh, watermark down here in the corner <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if you guys know, but you can indefinitely, uh, use Windows non-activated. <laughs> so, um, yeah, maybe I'll get to that at some point. Um, so yeah, here we are. Um, and you can see that he's, uh, he's done the, um, uh, mirror project to surface to, to get these lines here. And, uh, and then he's manipulated them around, but he's got these open spots here, right? And, you know, like, like in the tutorial before, we would generally go over here to surface and we'd use patch to fill these in. And then to smooth them out, um, we were doing tangent. So in this one, it says edge three and edge four. And you would go, primarily you're looking at edge three here and you go tangent and then you can manipulate this tangent. Um, but you can see, you can't really get that much out of this one because this line is so rigid here it, it's just pulling in so far because the tangency between this surface and this surface is like very extreme so um so i was messing around and you can get you can get kind of where you're going with that and that where he had gotten stuck is that he had multiple patches in here and when he stitched them together it didn't really work out for him but i thought you know what if we just delete both of these and then do the same thing, just patch that whole surface, right? And then, so edge nine and 10, we want those to be tangent. Like that. And then if you look here, if we put it on this left view, you can really manipulate that shape until it's something that you like. Um, you might want like a really aggressive steep thing, or you might want it to be kind of shallow like that um and that's i think this gives you better control and you get a really nice surface out of the whole thing um you stitch these all together and you get a pretty decent looking shape uh, and that's what i did here just to solve that problem um you, you know you might add more tangencies up here let's see if we can edit this and do it again um you might say sometimes it takes a little while doesn't like to bring in oh there we go so you might want to say like edge three and edge six let's let's make those tangents as well three so yeah that that kind of makes a different contour right and we can manipulate this to a certain i mean it'll break at some point um like see right there it's broken out here um but you know that that right there might be um a little more smooth for folks so you get this little um warm bubble right here in the edge 
So that's all I really had planned for this one. Um, th again, this is not really the way I would approach this, but it's, it's a way to solve a problem. And it's very dynamic. You can change this around to whatever suits you. You know, ultimately, you're trying to make a neck that you like the look of. Um, we're not trying to copy stuff so much here. We're just trying to, you know, make our own versions. So um, I hope that helps you guys. Uh, I hope the audio and everything is working again. I seem to got everything set up in a way that uh, it looks like it might be actually functional this time. Who knows? I don't have any comments on this live stream. Um, we're moving into the monetization era. You know, you can see I've got uh, the, that stuff engaged. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, so we're making a little bit of money and hopefully we're going to able to keep growing this channel. So if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and like the videos, click the bell, all that stuff. Um, so we're just trying to grow this channel to the point where um, I can just build stuff and give it away to you guys. That's what I want to do. Um, but we got a long way to go till we're there, but we're making great progress. Um, so thanks for watching for this little short uh, live stream. I don't know how short it is. We're at seven and a half minutes. It's not that short. <laughs> Anyways, thanks guys. Um, I got another inter interesting bass video coming up and we've got, hopefully I'll be able to finish up those, uh, the violin video and the, the Selmer video is very, very close. I'm just doing final, final, final tweaking to get that one done and we'll have some more cool um edited video in and uh anyways thanks for watching guys um i hope this helps somebody and uh have a good weekend